the U.S. Navy put cameras on dolphins and the results are wild. A buzz of clicks and gleeful victory squeals compose the soundtrack in our first ever footage from the perspective of dolphins freely hunting off the coast of North America. The U.S. Navy strapped cameras to their dolphins, which are trained to help identify undersea mines and protect some of America's nuclear stockpile, then gave them free reign to hunt in San Diego Bay. The clever marine mammals did not disappoint, offering up exciting chases and even targeting venomous sea snakes to the surprise of some researchers. For such popular, well-known animals, there are still so many basic things we don't yet know about these highly social and often gross cretaceous, like precious precisely how they typically feed, researchers broadly know of at least two techniques, slurping up prey like noodles from a bowl and ramming them down like a hot dog between rides at a state fair. But the footage has revealed a whole lot more. The cameras strapped to six bottlenose dolphins, the uh, genus Terciops truncantus, from the U.S. National Marine Mammal Foundation, NMMF, recorded six months of footage and audio, providing us with new insights into these mammals, hunting strategies, and communications. The recording equipment was placed on their backs or sides, displaying disturbingly odd angles of their eyes and mouths. While these dolphins are not wild, they are provided with regular opportunities to hunt in the open ocean, complementing their usual diet of frozen fish. So it's likely these animals use similar methods to their wild brethren, the NMF MMF, marine mammal veterinarian Sam Ridgway and colleagues explained. As dolphins hunted, they clicked almost constantly at intervals of 20 to 50 milliseconds, they said. On approaching prey, click intervals shortened into a terminal buzz and then a squeal. On contact with fish, buzzing and squealing was almost constant until after the fish was swallowed. The camera strapped dolphins caught more than 200 fish, including bass, croakers, halibut, smelt, and pipefish. The smelt often flung themselves into the air in desperate attempts to escape the skillful predators, but the dolphins tracked their every move, swimming aside upside down to give their eye, swiveling eyes a clear view a technique also observed previously in wild dolphins. These dolphins appear to use both sight and sound to find their prey, Ridgway said. At distance, the dolphins always use echolocation to find fish. Up close, vision and echolocation appear to be used together. The cameras also recorded the sound of animals' hearts as they pumped hard to keep up with the strenuous activities and revealed that rather than Ramming their victims down, the dolphins instead used suction to help gulp down their still struggling prey while impressively with their strong throat muscles. The dolphins mostly sucked fish in from sides of their open mouths, throat and muscles expanded and tongue withdrawn out of the way. The expanded inner mouth space helps create negative pressure that their sucking muscles add to. While dolphins have been caught messing around with snakes before, including river dolphins playing with an absurdly large anaconda, the footage confirmed of the first time, for the first time that they may also eat these reptiles as well. One dolphin consumed eight highly venomous yellow-bellied sea snakes. Our dolphin displayed no signs of illness after consuming the small snakes, the researchers write, but they acknowledge this could also be unusual behavior since the dolphins are captive animals. Perhaps the dolphins' lack of experience in feeding with dolphin groups in the wild led to the consumption of this outlier prey. The lead author of the study, Sam Ridgway, recently passed away at age 86, leaving behind a rich legacy of research. His creative approach to partnering with Navy dolphins to better understand the species, behavior, anatomy, health, sonar, and communication will continue to educate and inspire future scientists for generations, and MMF ethnologist Brittany Jones said. As for the Navy-trained dolphins, they work in open water almost every day, and MFF explains. They can swim away if they choose, and over the years, a few have, but almost all stay. The research was published on PLUS One, and this is on Science Alert by Tessa Kunduras. 
Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.